Welcome to Haraps Tutorials. This is podcast number eight. This is the, second, the second topic of this podcast is called Duplicate Finder. Uh, this is a real neat little tool that will look for files uh, that you may have um, two or three times on your system, all duplicates. Um, it will search, and it, it, which is nice, it's searching by hash values. So for those of you who don't know what a hash value is, um, it is when you create a file and you type something, each file has its own signature, its own fingerprint, if, you, if we can call it that way. And uh, so if you, let's say I, type, I open a new Word document and I type hello everyone, and I calculate the hash value for this, I'll get a fixed number. If I copy this file over to like you know another drive or even to give it to a friend, and you run the hash value, um, the calculation of the hash value at your friend's place will be the exact same one as you. As soon as you change the document, the content of the document, that's not including the date and uh, the uh, title. If you change a title, nothing happens. Um, but if you change, let's say you add a sentence to the uh, text and you save it. The hash value is completely changed. So this tool looks for hash value. So let's give you an example. I, uh, it's a li really light program. Uh, you can find it on my website at haruraps.com. In the search field on the top, you can search for um, duplicate, and you will find this. Uh, I got a few programs that deal with duplicates, but uh, you will find this one in there. Um, it's uh, really tiny, and um, it's only actually a few kilobyte uh, it's a uh, auto exec it's a uh, like 244 kilobyte so what I have here is a document um, called uh, duplicate test document dot doc um, I just got this is a test and I'm gonna take this document and I'm gonna copy it to my mini U my USB drive and what I'm gonna do just to show you how it's done I'm going to um, run the program, which is Duplicate Finder. All right. Now it asks you for um, a path. So just to save some time, normally you would probably run it against your, your C drive, or I'm going to run it against the desktop because that's where uh, my file is, and I'm going to click OK. Now, this would look only for duplicates on the desktop but that's not what I want. I want to, let's say, compare against my USB drive, or if, let's say you have another hard drive that you would like to compare files, make sure you don't have duplicates. Um, you would add the second hard drive or the second location. Now, I'm going to add my USB drive where I just uh, copied the file to, and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to start the search. Now you've got some uh, boxes here. Um, you can include empty files, um, fast search, or reverse sort. Um, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It's usually fine. And I'm going to start the search. And obviously it's done because um, it, it wasn't really uh, much to do. Uh, but you can see that it found it. Um, it. It says duplicate test and document. So what you would do is um, you can click on delete all duplicates, right? If I just click that, it says, are you sure that you want to you say, yeah, okay, I'm sure. So um, if I look, my file on my U Cruiser Mini is gone. So let's do another test. I'm going to um, take this, but add some text to it and I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna run the duplicate finder program again and I'm gonna add my my path again I'm gonna add my USB drive and I'm gonna start the search and nothing happened of course, because the document is not the same, so you don't get a fake, uh, a false positive, so which is good. And now let's try something else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take this document and I'm going to copy it to my uh, USB drive. I'm going to del delete this one. I'm going to paste it, um, and I'm going to change the name to one. All right. So you change the name. You don't know what's inside the document. And I'm just going to 
start the search again. And there you go. It found it. See, one is right here. So as you see, the, the name of the file it has nothing to do with the hash value of the um, document. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to show you um, for the last demonstration, I'm just going to copy this to my drive again, but I'm going to make um, several copies. There we go. All right. All right. So I'm going to leave these four copies and I'm going to start a program that I shouldn't have stopped because I got to redo my, my path again. It's okay. It only takes a few seconds and I'm going to point to my USB drive and I'm going to say start the search. There you go. So at the bottom here, um, I forgot to mention, but it'll tell you wh what the results are. It says duplicate files for files searched. Um, and then uh, it says, you know, the amount of space that was actually uh, uh, searched. So um, if I click here, it shows all four files are duplicates. So if I click on delete all duplicates, it will go ahead and duplicate or delete the duplicates. So this is, if I go back on my USB drive, it is gone. So uh, that's very interesting. Eh? It's uh, actually save a lot of times because over on, over the years, you, you just accumulate stuff on the hard drive and you have no idea what's, you know, what did I have or do I have any duplicates or, you know. So running this tool actually will be very useful. And um, once again, you can find more tutorials on my website at haruapps.com. Uh, and uh, just stay tuned and the final topic for this podcast is going to be uh, actually a lengthy one it's called SIW stay tuned <laughs>